another day in Bangkok, Thailand, and today I am checking out JJ Mall. It's located right across from the Chatuchak Weekend Market. However, this mall is open all week, every day. They close pretty late, like uh, 8 to 9. So um, there's a lot to see here. It has about 1,200 vendors. However, I would say about only 60% is open. A lot of them are still closed after COVID. Maybe they went out of business. If you are a thrifter, then this is definitely something you have to check out here in Bangkok. The first two floors, uh, there's five floors available to guests to check out. Uh, my favorite was on the top floor. <laughs> um, the first two floors are mainly furniture and as you can see a vintage furniture mm. I honestly have no idea where they got these stuff from but a little life hack I love this couch uh, a little life hack there is a free restroom here this is it so beautiful however the toilet paper is right here there's no toilet paper inside the toilet cabins you have to take some from the wall it's free unlike in Chatuchak you have to pay for it so if you need to go and you want to save some money but I mean even at Chatuchak it's pretty cheap so in here there's so many vintage furniture and decoration it feels like a massive um Massive, almost like an auction house for, um, what is it called when, when there's a, an open house for stuff after people died or moved? Estate sale. A massive, massive estate sale. There's so much stuff. I mean, you need days if you want to look through every single store. So much things. And I mean, there's amazing little hidden gems here i'm not gonna lie there's a lot of things that i would love to buy but like i cannot take it home um i'm sure there are ways to ship it home if you buy something bigger because like i said there's so many beautiful things like that red couch i think that was stunning and even the chandeliers so beautiful so many beautiful beautiful things here uh, I mean, look at that. I mean, it's it's just beautiful. Uh, it looks like some of the things belong in a museum. Like a very beautiful museum that I would love to go to every single day. On the next floor, we start to see clothes. Still some furniture, but the clothes are coming. I think they put the furniture on the lower part, so it's not too heavy <laughs> on the higher levels. But like I said, if you like thrifting, this is the place to be because it feels like a giant flea market. Uh, like the jewelry you're seeing right there, that's probably new. But once you start going in and you see the clothes, there's only one pieces of each items. Unless it's like a, a pre-made bag or some of the like band t-shirts or cartoon t-shirts. You can get that from AliExpress for the same price. But there's amazing clothes in the thrift section. Some beautiful, unique items you would never find anywhere else. So if you want to do like clothes shopping and you're okay with thrift clothes, then the JJ Mall is where you should come. Because at Chatuchak, there's not a lot of... Um, not a lot of uh, nice, trendy things. <laughs> it was a lot of the same kind of like souvenir beach wear, touristy clothes. And oh, a monk. <laughs> I know what he's coming for. For the food. So yeah, Chatuchak was not it when it comes to buying clothes. A lot of souvenirs. And with the clothes, pretty much... Almost all the sellers sell the same thing. If you see my Chatuchak video, you're going to see a lot of the same items over and over again. So on the top floor, if to me it looks like definitely a flea market. 
but it's for smaller shops uh, shops or people who did not have a lot of things to make it worth renting downstairs on one of the boots so as you can see this is all this seller has and it just one piece of each so it's probably like a thrift flea market area this is where i come to die <laughs> you guys oh my god the food here is so spicy. This is where this is a local spot. Uh, a boba tea, thirty bucks. I my the exchange the currency exchange I did I got thirty five bucks for a dollar. So thirty bucks for the Thai tea was less than a dollar. And for the food I got some uh, chicken green curry. And that's actually not liver. I do mention that I, there's liver in it. It's not liver. It's blood jelly. Blood jelly, which is a very popular here. Um, yeah, so spicy. All right, noodles. Oh, yo. <laughs> um, oh. I am where the locals are. Oh, it's liver. And um spicy. It's spicy. Hot. So hot. Can I try one? Are you dying? Oh my god. It's hot. <laughs> and that's why they're so skinny. It's rep repressively hot. It's fucking hot. <laughs> if you're starving and you want to try the local cuisine, like real local cuisine, you can use the elevator to come up very quickly. So the fifth floor is only accessible to tourists or visitors. And that is Chatuchak. What we're looking at is that's Chatuchak. It's massive. Uh, yeah, you need a few days in there too, but it's only open on the weekends. So this was my video for the JJ Mall in Bangkok, Thailand. It's open every day, pretty much all day. If you like thrift, vintage stuff, check this place out.